Hi everybody. Today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of my new portrait landscape notebook. Um, the one I'm going to walk you through today is a five subject. However, please note that this walkthrough will be good for any of the five subject or the 12 subject portrait and landscape notebooks. So it doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, looking at purchasing a colorful version or any of the other neutral versions, whatever I have out as long as it's portrait and landscape, this video will work for it because I'm going to go in depth in this one on the paper options. So that way you can see up close what, um, what's included. Um, the portrait and landscape combination is something new that I'm offering. Well, it's new right now, it won't be maybe in the future, but I have another video that describes how to use the portrait landscape. And I also have, in, in that exact video, it shows the five styles that come with all of the notebooks. And the five styles are four coil colors and a no coil version. So if you wanna see up close what everything looks like, watch that video. Um, I'll briefly go into that right now. Like this is, I'm using a silver coil and, um, so just to show you what the portrait landscape is. So I was in landscape and then I'm gonna double tap and now I'm in portrait mode, whoopsies. And you can see it fits just gorgeous. And so, but I go into the detail on that in a different video. So again, this video is literally just covering the, um, the what, how, how to use the notebook, okay? So uh, when you get at your notebook, uh, you're going to you know, open it up. You see we were on the cover page and then we swipe and now we're in the information page. On the left side of the page, you have five tabs. You have an information tab, a paper options tab, table of contents, quick note, and stickers. And then on the right side of the page over here, you have your divider tabs. Again, all of these are hyperlinked. Um, everything in this book is hyperlinked. So right now we're in the information tab and it just um, basically goes over all the tabs and how to use the book. Um, I also offer uh, the colors that I'm using for the particular notebook. So that way, if you'd like to add them to your pen presets, you can. And then down here, I have my website and helpful links if you need to get a hold of me or want to shop more. All right. And now we're going to go to the paper options. And even though I'm swiping, all of these are hyperlinked. I'll show you later. Um, we're going to go to the paper options tab and we'll get back to that. Uh, we're going to go to the next tab, which is table of contents. So this is the table of contents. These little boxes are headings and then you have lines below so you can create an index if you'd like for what you're putting in your tabs. Everything is hyperlinked. So the green will take you to the green. So let's go back to the table of contents and blue, pink, all of them will link appropriately. Also, these are hyperlinked. All these tabs are hyperlinked as well. Okay, so we were on the table of contents. Now we're gonna move on. Your next page is the quick note. And again, this is literally what it is, a quick note. Because I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, I don't know, but um, I like to have something built in for that purpose, to just quick write a quick note to myself. You know, I don't have a place for it yet. And I just like to have a dedicated space in my notebooks for that reason. So on this side of the page, you have to do, to buy, mental note, and this and that. And then on the right side of the page is blank in case you have um, want to drag in images or you want to draw or you just want a blank space. So I'm actually going to throw this into portrait really quick so you can see it up close. So that's what it looks like. So that's your quick note page like that. All right. So now we're going to move on and the next page is stickers. So um, this is a blank page. Uh, one thing, I, this is not something I have in my other, in my previous notebooks or planners is a dedicated space for stickers. But I realized how many people really, really use stickers and I do too. I've started using some too. Well, actually I use a, few, a lot. And so I just wanted to make a dedicated space for you to um, place your favorite stickers. Also with your purchase, 
uh, you probably have received or downloaded by now, I've included uh, stickers and the stickers will coordinate uh, with the colors of whatever notebook you are, or planner that you are purchasing. So I just think it's fun. It's just fun. All right, so now let's go back to the paper options. All right, um, with these notebooks, the five subject and the 12 subject notebook, you're gonna get 52, I think it's, yeah, 52 different paper templates. So now we're gonna go over it. We're gonna start with medium lines. So um, I have two lines, so this is medium lines, and then these are large lines. And it's just depending on what your writing is. Some people write really small, some people write really big. And you can see, so the lines, when you turn it portrait, like, so now these would be the large lines in portrait mode, and these are the medium lines in portrait mode. Um, Basically, I designed it based on my handwriting and some other things, but I'm, I write kind of large, so I actually like the, um, why well, I write medium large? I like the medium lines. I like the medium lines because I'm able to write in portrait and landscape really easily. And then I've included dark, and the dark are in large lines. Then you have a small dot or a small graph, a larger graph, and a dark graph. And then you have dark red. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's very it's light, but not that light. Here, maybe I'll blow it up for you. Well, let's move on to the next page. And then we have large dark red. But I'm going to show you. Let's see. This is the larger dark red. I just don't like my dots to be overwhelmingly dark. All right, and then we have a dark dark red. Now we have blank, and then we have dark blank, and then we have a full blank with no coil, no divider, nothing, just full. Now we have hex paper, and then we have um, lines with a margin, and this is in medium and large. And now we have Cornell notes, again, in the same medium and large. And now we have brainstorm paper. So you have two brainstorm papers side by side, or you can do a brainstorm on one side and then the whole uh, next page is dot grid. So I just took this little dot grid on this and then I made it for um, bigger because it's just nicer, I like it like that. Now we go into um, margin lines with different pages on the right side. Now, if you notice before I had medium lines and large lines, moving forward, what I've done is I've combined the two and I just kind of have a, a an average line. I took, it just, it's the middle of the two, so it'll work uh, either way. This is uh, margin lines with dot grid, margin lines with graph, margin lines with blank. Now we have split uh, split lines, or split page, and then we have notes and lists. Now we have um, story paper. I don't know why I always call it. I'm sure it's actually called something else, but I just always call it story paper. So you have story, story paper uh, with lines, like a full or just dual story. It's probably like, I don't know what this is called, illustration paper, I don't know. Now we kind of get into our um, lists. So we have four columns blank, four columns lined, and four columns with a uh, check checklist. Also, like I said before, I've included stickers in the, um, let's see if I can get that to pull up. Do I not have Dropbox? Maybe I don't, oh, there it is. I have stickers that I included with your purchase. And the rectangles, I designed them to fit, or you can make them fit, the boxes. Because, I don't know, that's just, I like that. There. 
So you can do that if you want. That's why I leave the boxes um, without a color because it's just maybe you want to make your own color or maybe you want to use a highlighter, you know. All right, so let's move on. So now we have eight boxes per page in the same format. So you get blank with lines and then check boxes. And then you have um, 12 boxes in the same format, blank lines and check boxes. Now we go into more specialty papers. So this is a um, weekly schedule. So if you were planning your class schedule or your work schedule. There's a blank boxes over here, a blank column over here for you to write the things that you need to do. And this is a Monday start and this one is a Sunday start. It's the exact same paper template. And now we're getting into a hourly time schedule. And again, this is nice if you have a class schedule or a school schedule or a work schedule or just you just want to use it. Um, for a project you're working on. Again, this is Monday start and a Sunday start and the hours go from 6 to 10 and then there's a spot over here for notes. And then up above, on, I don't know if you've noticed, on all of the pages I have this little uh, area up here and that's just a room for your title. Now we get into the um, graph chat tracking pages. So these are 12, you have 12 columns. For tracking and then you have 12 columns but then I've split it and then this is for notes and again this is now this is seven columns so if you have like something that you're tracking weekly you can do that or you can do um, seven columns and then notes now we're getting into even more specialty paper we're getting into this is a project page so you have your project planner, so you have a description and steps and your due date and then the little area for you to check if the steps have been completed, a spot for notes, and a spot for sketches. Now we move into goal planning. So you have your purpose, motivation, notes, and then you have uh, three objectives. And under each objective you have steps and then the dates. And then are they an ongoing step? So you've got monthly, weekly, or daily for you to check off. So this would, I mean, this, these goal pages are phenomenal because um, they work for everything, whether it be like your goal of redoing your kitchen or your goal of losing 10 pounds or your goal of getting, you know, more followers on YouTube. It, it's, it, it's very all purpose, but it works great. And then I have meeting notes. So you have your purpose, attendees, action items, who is it assigned to, the due date, and whether they're completed or not, a summary, uh, then you have your date of your next meeting, and then a spot over here for your notes. Now I have like a password keeper. So you've got your website, um, the date that you're creating it, your username, the email, your password, your hint, and the notes. So um, it's just a handy spot to keep your most used passwords if you forget them a lot, or if you create something, right, <laughs> and you haven't written it down yet, um, you can put it in, I mean, like if you have a separate spot to write it down, you can write it down in here. And then I have an assignment tracker. Uh, so you have your due date, your class, a description of the assignment. Is it done? Is it turned in? And what did you get? For You can write your points or your grade. Then I have like a checkbook balance, like a checkbook register this for transactions. So you have your date, your description, category, payment, a reconcile, de a deposit amount, if you're going to deposit something, and your balance. And moving on, now we have budget. And so you have a spot for your income. And then you have this over here on the right side is all your expenses the date they're due, the date they're paid, and how much. And then you can add it all up down here. Take your total exp income and total expenses, and then you've got your, hopefully you have a lot say over, <laughs> or not, probably. And then you have some notes, so you can keep track of that. We all just want more at the end of the month, am I right? Now, this is fun. So now we're getting into the super fun pages, because my daughter does this, and I've seen this when I um, used to do paper planners and bullet journals. It's a savings tracker, and these things are just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. My daughter saved a bunch of money, just, I swear to God, just because the, it was cute that she did this every month. But um, this is for a 26-week savings 
tracker and you just would like if you don't know what it is you what you do is like if you're gonna save you know five dollars or a hundred dollars you write it in the little piggy or you color it and then you can keep track of what you're saving over here or your goal um, it's just you know it's a really neat way to save it's just kind of a fun way to, to keep track of how you're saving and that's a 26 this is a 26 week tracker and then this one is a 52 week so if you get paid every week you could use this one and if you get paid twice a month you can use this one and it's just kind of neat that way you can if you want to save you know I don't know five thousand dollars in a year you can break it up by piggies now we have a bookshelf because again I love those book trackers that you see on um in those bullet journals because those people that bullet journal you guys if you're watching this you guys amaze me people that can draw I've always wanted to keep have a book tracker, and uh, so I made one. There are 100 books. There's 50 books per page, and so if, if you're um, counting, if you, you know, the kind of person that wants to read 100 books in a year or whatever, um, this is for you. So I hope you like this. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, then we move into the covers. Um, this is a extra black cover. There's no tabs in case you just don't like the look of them. And then we move into different colors for the uh, covers. So you've got white, green, blue, pink, red, and then the black obviously is on the front cover up here. So this is uh, the landscape portrait, five subject notebook. Again, the papers, let's go to the paper options. The papers will, I'm gonna keep this exact same thing in all of my um, landscape portrait notebooks moving forward. So if you're looking at, again, if you're looking at a different color, these papers will be included. It doesn't matter what the color of the tabs are. This is just the format that I'm using. I'm in love with these pages. And um, I think it's a very robust variety that I've offered because I just really wanted it to be something that a lot of people could use. I wanted to make sure that there was something for everybody. So again, if you have any questions, um, email me if you I didn't explain something that you really wanted to see I'll make a new video uh, you can contact me on Etsy or you can contact me via um, if you have a notebook you can contact me via uh, the links that are included in the notebook so thank you so much everybody thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day bye